Hey everybody, welcome to the Anvil build class. My name is Excalibur. Today we are going to be going over how to convert a small vessel or hover vessel to a capital vessel and vice versa. Essentially how to change one type of vessel to another type within creative. As you see right here, we have the K-Bar Rambler, which is currently a hover vessel. Now what we're going to do is we're basically going to convert this into a capital vessel. We're going to do it all in one big sweep. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a uh, capital vessel starter block. So we're going to go into our uh, item menu here, and then we're going to go to blocks. We're going to click the all here, and then we're going to choose capital vessel starter. From there, we're going to place it. And then we can go ahead and get rid of that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to what we want to convert. And you're going to hold down... Well, you're going to press N, and you're going to choose Selection, and then you're going to leave it there. And then you're going to press N again to get rid of that. Then you're going to hold down N, and you'll see you have your little pointy cursor. You're going to click on what you're trying to select. Now, this basically selects this starter block for manipulation. So now we're going to uh, we're going to move this up. Now, these arrows here basically move when they're in this mode, the move mode. They simply move that one block wherever you want it to be. Now, if you were to go to this one, and these two blocks here are free stretch. So if you hold down the mouse and go up and down, you can manipulate it that way. But if you just want to do one block at a time, you would just click on the one block and it would go one at a time. But basically what we want to do is we want to stretch this out in all areas until we get the entire hover vessel into the blue. Now, if you press N again, you can move around because you can't actually move around when you're in that end menu but you need this menu in order to actually move this. So it's a little tricky, you gotta constantly be moving your camera here. So you just go in and out of the end menu. And make sure you don't select anything else. So you see those docking pads are actually a block, so we have to go down one. There we go, now we're getting the docking pads. Same with this deco here. We're gonna go out there, now we've covered that. Now we're gonna press N again and we're gonna stretch this out until we get those Gatling guns. And it looks like we shaved off a little on this side, so we'll get that out. Now this is fine, we don't have to worry about above it, because we're not selecting anything. So now that we have the entire build selected, we're going to press N again, and we're going to simply go to Copy. Now that's copied to the uh, clipboard. Now we're going to press N again to go out. We're going to go over to our capital vessel. Now we're still selected over there, so we have to press N. You have to undo the select, and then do it again exit it and then hold down N again and click. Now we've selected this. So now we're over here. Now we're going to choose the uh, move selection and we're going to move it up. I'm going to move it up a good bit in the air. And this is probably what you want to do when you're doing a whole thing because this is now going to be the size of a capital vessel. So it's going to be pretty high up and you don't want it to clip in there. So we'll move it about right there. Awesome. All right, now we're going to hold down. Well, we're not going to hold down. We're just going to press N, and then we're going to go over to Paste. Boom. So now you have the Rambler K-Bar, but it's the CV size. Now, note that all these blocks are still HV blocks, so that, that's something else we're going to have to fix. Now, when it's in this green ghosting, it's not actually in the world yet. It's just uh, showing you a preview. So this isn't actually here yet. So what we're going to have to do is press N again, and then click paste. Now, if you wanted to move this around before you do that, you're welcome to. You can move this any which way you want. Let's say you're trying to fit this onto something else and combine something, you know, you could do that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and paste. And it looks like we shaved off a little bit on this side. So you see, that's an issue. We didn't have this all the way selected and that's what happened. So that's actually good that you're seeing that. So just make sure that you get your whole thing in there, otherwise it's not going to copy at all. Now something else you'll notice is that the colors are way different, and that's simply because this has adopted the default color palette, whereas with my, uh, with my build, I have custom colors in there. So it's always going to default to the original colors. So all you would have to do is pull your color tool out, go up to it, and you would simply right click go to configure, and then you would put that same color palette back on there. So now you see it's back. So this is essentially a CV, but the problem is if you hold your multi-tool and you look at these parts, 
These are still small steel blocks. Obviously, harvesters don't belong on a CV. So it depends on what you're trying to do here. If you're trying to make an illegal build to where you're using parts of an HV on a CV, you can certainly do that. But you know that some of these things aren't going to work. Turrets will only manually fire when they're on the wrong block. Um, obviously, HV thrusters are not nearly as powerful as CV thrusters, so they're not going to do much for you as far as performance or anything. So you really have to, uh, case by case, uh, figure out exactly what you're doing. And then also know that you're not going to be able to put this on the workshop if it's an illegal build. And that would be if it comes up red or orange in your, uh, in your blueprint list, so... You would either, uh, you know, with a lot of this stuff, you could just remove it and, um, you know, simply grab a, like a CV block and then just start removing by holding down the uh, shift button and, and right clicking. And you can get rid of all these things that don't actually belong on here. And you could essentially replace these with CV turrets if you wanted to. So, but the important thing that I'm going to show you next is how to actually convert the blocks into uh cv blocks because obviously you don't want to redo this because then what was the point of copying and pasting right so the important thing is to uh click your tilde and that'll bring down your console and you click di or debug info so now you have this little black thing at the top of your screen that gives you all the information about whatever you hover over so if you look at the bottom there it says whole full small so now you know what that block name is right and then we have to determine that we want if you go here and you go into uh cv or to see because the menu yeah so cv blocks there we go cv blocks so these are called something different but these aren't actually called what you see here they have a name and because i know the name i could just kind of do it but um the best thing to do would be uh yeah so like here this is a cv uh so same thing whole full large so that's what a regular steel block is called for a capital vessel. Now, the reason you want to know that is uh, in order to change these, uh, we have to do a simple command. It's called replace blocks. And then we have to do the number. So 1521, you can see that is the ID. And then basically we're going to do a whole full. Sorry, we're going to do whole. Yeah, whole full small space and then we're going to do a whole full large so see we've replaced 167 blocks so the next thing we're going to do is because there's different types of blocks so let's go out of there now all these blocks are not converted only the uh, full blocks so if you look here this is called whole extended small right there's uh, the little triangles, um, not those, but there's uh, there's thinner triangles. I didn't, yeah, so like these walls here, uh, whole, thin, small. So there's different types of blocks, so we have to go through them all. So all you do is you press the up arrow once and it gives you your last command. And you can go over here and you can edit this. So we can go thin, so we change full to thin, right? Boom, 29 blocks. So now we're gonna go uh, extended. And extended are basically the new uh, the new blocks. So 31 blocks. Now there's also uh, one. It's extended one. No. Okay. Let's see if we can find one of the uh, new new blocks here. These are all. So you can see these are all large now. That's a good thing. That means we uh, we've converted them all nicely. So this is an extended large. Yeah. So that's good extended small so whole extended small three so there you go so we're gonna go we're gonna go again and those are three right so we're gonna put nope not here that's where i messed up so we're gonna start with one because there's actually i think four of them so we're gonna go we're gonna start with one we're gonna see if there's any ones no there's no such thing as one Fine. So we're gonna go two six blocks replaced now we're gonna go three 10 blocks replaced. And I think I'll go up to five. I'm not sure how many there are, but okay, zero blocks. Let's see if there's a five, two blocks. Well, hell, let's see if there's a six, just to be sure. 
These are forever changing. Okay, so not found. There's no such thing as six. So it looks like one through five. You want to make sure that all those are converted. So now, essentially, as far as blocks goes, this thing is completely converted. But what's not converted is the container extensions. You can see these are still small container extensions. So you want to do the same thing. You basically want to delete this and you want to go container extension small. And you want to change that to container extension, I think. Container extension, let's do large, I think it's large. There you go, 82 blocks. So 82 cargo extensions were now converted. And as you can see, now it's large. So that gives you that CV capacity. So essentially, you know, once you remove all these things, basically the uh, blueprint will now be a CV and you've, you've maintained this hole and, you know, then you can convert it as you like, you know, obviously some things aren't going to make sense. You're a lot smaller in here now. So, <laughs> but you know, it opens the door for a lot of really cool designs. Cause I mean, if there's like a really cool hover vessel or SV that's really detailed and has a lot of really cool stuff, you can convert those to CVs and then vice versa. If there's a really cool CV that you like, you can easily convert it into an SV or even an HV if you really wanted to. You would just have to change the blocks and, and adjust you know, the performance to make sure that it actually functions right as that, uh, as that vessel. So that's it, guys. On the next episode, I'm going to show you some more stuff to do with uh, illegal blocks. But until then... Take care, guys, and keep on building. My name's Excalibur, and this is the Anvil Build Class. Oh, neat!